This is the first video on computer awareness quiz and this will be a 40 part video series on computer awareness wherein we will be discussing the basic fundamentals and concepts relating to computers, programs and related terminologies or terms. You will find these videos besides the respective GK Today quiz under computer awareness quiz section. So let's quickly get on with it. We'll be taking questions from the quiz and deal with the relative terminologies. What kind of operations can a computer carry out? Arithmetic and logical, verbal and logical, logical and cognitive, verbal and arithmetic. Answer is arithmetic and logical. Let us understand what it is. Arithmetic operations refer to addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, etc. and are represented by these symbols in a programming language. Whereas logical operations are those wherein a condition is applied, which means in this kind of programs, words if and then are used. So for example, you'll be telling the computer, if this happens, then do this and this. In another example, you'll be telling the computer, if this happens, then do this or that. So in logical operations, and or or is primarily used to showcase a kind of a condition. So therefore, operators AND or OR are known as logical operators and are mainly used to control the flow of the program. And they are represented by these signs in a programming language. Apart from them, greater than, less than, equal to or not equal to are also used for comparison. Now we all know that these functions or operations are performed inside the CPU. But they are done inside what is called as ALU. Stands for arithmetic and logical unit and performs mathematical, logical and decision operations. So a CPU has basically three things to help it perform. A control unit, an ALU unit and a memory unit. When were the first digital electronic calculating machines developed? During industrial revolution, world war one, world war two or during the cold war. Now, though during the industrial revolution, some mechanical devices were built to automate long and difficult tasks like we have seen in the case of jacquard loom in our earlier video but the first digital electronic calculating machines were developed during world war ii the name of the computer was colossus colossus was the first electronic digital programmable computing device and was used to break german ciphers ciphers meaning code during world war ii and it remained unknown as a military secret almost well into 1970s which one of the following devices use computers as control systems for functioning? Industrial robots, remote controls, microwave ovens, all of the above. Computers are used in almost all areas today. And they act as a control system for operating a number of household as well as industrial devices. So not only these, but also smartphones, personal computers, etc. So answer is all of the above. Which of the following is the processing unit of the computer? Answer is simple, CPU. But let us check out what are the other terms. The motherboard. The motherboard is the main circuit board of the computer and as such acts as the circulation system of the computer. All signals used by the computer are processed by the motherboard. Memory chips, central processor, expansion boards and cables to hard drives all are attached to the motherboard. Thus a motherboard is the data and power infrastructure of the entire computer and hence the name motherboard. Which of the following comprise the software components of a computer? Program, keyboard, BIOS and memory. Let us look at what is a BIOS. BIOS refers to basic input output systems and hence the acronym BIOS. BIOS basically is a program pre-installed on Windows based computers and not on Macs. Macs have a little different way that the computer uses to start up. The CPU accesses the BIOS even before the operating system is loaded. The BIOS then checks all your hardware connections and locates all your devices like keyboard, mouse, hard drives, etc. So in summary, BIOS software is built into the PC and is the first code which is run by a PC when you power it on. And that is why it is also called as a boot firmware because the starting up process is called booting. Now speaking of programs, there are two categories. One is application programs and is system programs. Application programs usually are called just applications. 
these are the programs that people use to get their specific work done like writing letters playing games surfing the internet etc then there are system programs which help keep the hardware and software component of the computer running together smoothly operating systems like windows ios android are best examples of system programs but system programs is not only limited to operating systems in fact networking systems programming language software website server data backups etc are also a type of system programs so as we have seen so far a computer requires two things to function properly the hardware part which is the physical which you can see touch feel and software part is the virtual part that is it is there but which you cannot see touch or feel which of the following are indisputable characteristics of a computer speed accuracy versatility well apart from these three in addition it also has reliability storage capacity thus making total of five characteristics so answer is all of the above and these are some of the factors which make it such an important part of our lives in a book of which author was the word computer first mentioned according to oxford english dictionary the word computer was first used in 1613 in a book called the young man's gleanings by english writer richard braithwaite so answer is 3 when did the online etymology dictionary first attested the use of the word computer which means as one who calculates etymology is the study of the origin of the words and the way in which their meanings have changed throughout the history the online etymology dictionary first attested the use of the word computer in 1640s which of the following is seen as the earliest mechanical analog computer well the answer is second the antikythera mechanism in ancient greek is believed to be the earliest mechanical analog computer it was designed to calculate astronomical positions and eclipses for calendar which of the following devices incorporated a mechanical calendar computer the answer is astrolab it was said to be invented in the hellenistic world by hipparchus the astrolab incorporated a mechanical calendar computer and was used by astronomers and navigators to measure the altitude above the horizon of a celestial body whether be it day or night who is considered as the father of the computer charles babbage an english mechanical engineer and polymath gave the concept of programmable computer and he is considered as the father of the computers what parts did the first analytical engine incorporate which made it the first design for a general purpose computer again analytical engine and difference engine were by charles babbage well the analytical engine incorporated an integrated memory arithmetic logical unit control flow in the form of conditional branching and loops which made it the first design for a general purpose computer so answer is all of the above who gave the first successful demonstration of use of a simplified analytical engine in computing tables in 1888 the answer is henry babbage he was charles babbage and georgiana whitmore's youngest son which of the following is the first example of an electromechanical relay computer the z2 created by german engineer konrad zeus in 1939 was one of the foremost example of an electromechanical relay computer so answer is 3 which of the following was considered as the world's first fully automatic digital computer again konrad zeus made the z3 which was the first fully automatic digital and electromechanical programmable computer it was built with 2000 relays which was the world's first electronic digital programmable computer colossus was the world's first electronic digital programmable computer which used a large numbers of volts who had proposed the principle of modern computer in his 1936 paper the principle of modern computer was proposed by alan turing in his seminal paper on computable numbers and had proposed a device called universal computing machine thank you and see you in the next one